Hello everyone. My name is Pranita Shedke. My project identifier is GMR118. My research project title is Stress Detection Using Multimodal Physiological Signals with Machine Learning from Wearable Devices. Let's start with the introduction. Stress is one of the most prevalent concerns among individuals. Stress can cause severe health issues. When person gets stressed, physiological values get affected. We can use machine learning techniques to identify stress by using these physiological signals. In this research paper, we used wearable stress and effect detection data set. This data set includes physiological data collected from 15 different subjects. We use this data to identify the state of mind. In this study, we implemented logistic regression, decision tree, and random forest machine learning algorithms. We also implemented stacking ensemble learning technique. In this research work, we developed both personalized model by considering individual subject data and also generalized machine learning model by combining all subject data. While developing a machine learning algorithm, there are several steps. First is data set selection, then data pre-processing, and third is the machine learning algorithm. In data set selection, we use WESAD data set, which, collect, which has a data collected from the 15 different subjects. This data is collected from the wrist worn device and the chest worn device. In this research work, we used a data collected from the wrist worn device. This data includes electrodermal activity, blood volume pulse, and body temperature. Next is the data pre processing steps, where we uh, where we perform data cleaning, where we remove the unwanted data. Then we perform, perform downsampling. We downsample the BVP data, which was sampled at the 64 hertz frequency, similar to the temperature and EDA data, which was sampled at the 4 hertz frequency. We also applied the interquantile range. Further, we created a data pre-processing pipeline, which included standardization and principal component analysis. We divided our data set into training and testing data sets. Training data set was 80% and testing data, uh, set, data set was 20%. We, we applied data pre-processing pipeline to, to the training and testing data set. Next is the machine learning algorithms. We applied logistic regression, decision tree, random forest, and stacking ensemble learning technique. In stacking ensemble learning, we used logistic regression, decision tree, random forest as base models, and random forest as a meta model. In this side, slide presents the results of all the machine learning algorithms. As we can see, random forest and stacking ensemble learning gave the higher accuracy as compared to the logistic regression and decision tree. This slide presents the comparison of our proposed model with the baseline model. This slide shows the comparison of a logistic regression model and our proposed model gave the higher accuracy as compared to the baseline model. Similar to the, uh, similar to the decision tree model as well, proposed model gave the higher accuracy as compared to the baseline model. Similarly, for random forest, proposed model gave higher accuracy for most of the uh, subjects. The slide shows the graph representation of a stacking ensemble learning. For most of the subjects, stacking ensemble learning gave accuracy above 90%. Next is the uh, next slide presents the results of the generalized model where we combined all subjects data. In this, stacking ensemble learning gave the higher accuracy while the logistic regression gave the least accuracy. Next slide is the conclusion. Um, in all the three models, logistic regression shows the least accuracy while random forest gave the best accuracy, ranging from 87 to 99%. While comparing all three ML models and the stacking ensemble learning technique, stacking ensemble learning showed the higher accuracy as compared to all other models. There are further a lot of opportunities in this research work. We can explore other data set which has audio and video recordings of a video, uh, of a people. Such data sets having audio or video information combined with the physiological data can be important asset to developing a strong and reliable machine learning model. 
these are the references few references that we have included in, in our research work thank you